So welcome to this next tutorial and in this tutorial we'll add more items to our elements. So the first thing we need to do is that uh, I personally I don't like these actions. So we don't need to um, define it. So we're going to add more items here. We'll just do DDD. And um, the item we're going to add, this one takes you to login and uh, this one takes you to... Um, so uh, we're going to first of all make sure that it goes to user controller users the reason why I'm doing this is because um, we're going to be using it this same side menu in all of our views that are not connected that are that the user is not logged in so all it, it must not always be in the users controller the reason why only this worked before was because this view this login view is under the users controller what if we had some about us and um, some contact us page that is not directly under the users controller and we still want to display login that is why i'm specifying that um, this link actually belongs to the users controller all right so i'll just duplicate the line and the next thing we will do is the sign up sign up so i'll just do sign up and then we'll do it again forgot password and then we'll do it again for um register or what what else do we do contact us about us and for contact us contact us and um um, whatever else we'll adjust this later when we start when we build out these other pages but this basically solves our problem what we can do is to see what link we use for forgot password um, you know we created a forgot password link here so I'm just trying to see it's forgot underscore password uh, the way I know it is that placing my mouse here and looking at this status bar here so it's forgot underscore forgot um, hyphen password so we get back to our code and um, of course it's under the users controller so we get back we have users controller so we have forgot password all right there we are we refresh and keep your eye here we have more menu all right so what we're going to do is that we're going to create another sidebar for when we're logged in and to do that we need to be careful about how we organize our folder so that uh, we can have a neat folder structure so if i get back to the element and i see that this side menu is just dumped here uh, one thing you can do you can leave it here but one thing you can do is to side menus side menus one thing you can do is to create a folder and start uh, putting all your side menus into this folder so right here we can duplicate i just copied and pasted and we can change it to logged in side menu side menu logged in so this is the side menu i will use when i'm logged in and this is the one i use when i'm logged out so i'm going to edit this um so logged out uh, as you can see, I'm naming this so that if any programmer picks up my code, they can look at the files and really understand what I was trying to do even before opening it. Alright, otherwise, um, you know how best to organize your thing. And here I can just put a comment to explain what is happening here. And uh, that is basically a side menu for log for when user is logged in all right so user is logged in they don't need to see login they don't need to sign see sign up they're not going to see forgot password but they can see change password so a logged in user can see um change password or reset password however you want it so we can just call it uh change password or whatever it is and um what else can a login user see they can see the list of all users finally we'll restrict it to something only the admin can see but for now so the user can see um change password and they can see um list users or whatever you want to call the list of all users eventually we will 
restrict it to admin we can say users action index you know how I know that this is index because if we go back to our users controller we go back to our SRC hit on controller hit on users we know the function that is already calling all users this is our index and what it is basically doing is calling the list of all users all right so we can rewrite it later but um, I know it offhand that's why I just wrote index apart from list of users what else are we going to see we can see other custom other custom controls such as um, view we're not just gonna mention you can say view and um, what I'm going to do here is um, all right in the next video I'll do this let's just stop here all right I'll fix this in the next video so what we're going to do is get back to our login.ctp and put side menu side menu and in our sign up we do the same thing we'll put side menu and we test to see that it's working we refresh if it works well side menus wait it's supposed to be plural side menus all right i will check what is wrong with this okay so uh, we didn't name it properly we named it log side menu logged out logged out and um, we can just do the same thing with here side menu logged out and we'll refresh so that works for us in the next video we'll do more amazing things with this you'll be amazed at what this will turn out to be in the end